Hey, welcome back. It's Jason from PaddleGuy.com. Uh, now for something a little more random than my usual posts. Yesterday I went out for a fish and amongst my catch was this tiny little trevally. Uh, inside its mouth was this thing called a tongue-eating lice. Now, had I not seen my son's book recently, my seven-year-old son Milan, he's got this book, 100 Most Disgusting Things on the Planet. Well, at number 61 is the tongue-eating lice. Uh, you'll see it here rolling around on the deck of my kayak. Um, here's what Milan's book tells me about the tongue-eating lice. Uh, and they look a bit like a wood lice and they evade the fish by swimming through its gills. And they attach itself to the fish's tongue and they suck the blood from it until the tongue drops off. Then the lice clings to the muscle at the base of the tongue and becomes a new tongue for the fish. And it feeds on the fish's blood and body fluids. Ugh. Now sure enough, I open the mouth of the little trevally and sure he's got no tongue. As opposed to a snapper I'd caught in the same spot who's got a perfectly healthy tongue. Now if you want to know more about it, just Google tongue eating lice. You'll be both interested and probably a little disgusted too. There's nothing to, no information to suggest that eating a fish that's had a tongue eating lice will actually hurt you. Uh, but personally, I don't think I'm going to be eating that fish and he'll end up as some bait. Thanks for watching. See you again.